Hello from the Total War Pharaoh team. We've been very busy in the update mines to bring you patch 1.0.1, and it's a beefy one. Seriously, the Cliff's Notes version of this is seven pages long, so allow me to summarize it for you. Let's start with battles, because we've made a load of changes and improvements. We've adjusted the rate at which armor will degrade. The durability has been increased almost across the board, with excellent, good and normal quality armor getting about a 70% increase. This means that there is now a greater difference between the armor tiers as well. Poor quality armor remains the same as it has been. Flaming projectiles can lay devastation upon the battlefield, but giving them to slingers is not quite right, so we've taken them away in the name of historical accuracy. If fire from afar is a core part of your stratagem, Irsu, you're going to have to bring along some archers from now on. Or do it manually. There's a huge amount of rebalancing done to units, both in terms of damage, speed, health, etc. in both custom battle and campaign, but we've also adjusted the cost of certain units in custom battle. It's too much to go through all of it, but some examples include bowmen, who will now reload faster, chariots are faster and charge harder, and custom battle two-handed infantry is now more expensive. Check out the patch notes for the full list of changes. Settlement destruction from burning down buildings now counts from when the fire started rather than when it burned down. Some players have expressed a distaste for the way a battle immediately ends if you manage to capture all the victory points in a settlement battle, and we agree to an extent. Capturing all points should still be rewarded though, since it can be a great achievement, so we've replaced the instant victory with an additional penalty to the defender's morale, beyond that of the capture point themselves. The weather system is a big part of battles in Total War Pharaoh, but not all of the weather conditions have had the impact we were hoping for, so we've increased the negative effects from fighting in a storm or thunderstorm. Reinforcements or additional armies can now properly be selected on the post-battle screen for performance inspection, so that you can determine if your lads did well or if someone else really deserves the praise. Chilling five feet apart is cool and all, but we've encouraged more units to climb ladders simultaneously. And while air climbing is a sick party trick, it has been breaking immersion, so it's been bad. We've also improved the way that AI will use missile units and should now have a better sense of which units to prioritize when blotting out the sun. They've also been told that ranged units perform better at range and will no longer send their archers into melee when ranged is the better tactical option. The AI has also been told that numerical superiority is actually something that should be accounted for and will no longer send in that one unit of chariots or spearmen to face an entire army, no matter how badass they look doing it. Speaking of numerical superiority, the AI should be sallying out from their settlements less often if they are faced with a stronger enemy force. Sometimes it's a valid strategy, but some generals have been a bit too gung-ho. We installed heat-sense.exe and the AI will now indeed identify fire as burning, so they'll avoid it better. In general, you should see units keep their cohesion much better from now on, especially when using the advanced stance. Moving on to the world of diplomacy, the court will no longer be left in an invalid state if the court leader died outside of a civil war. Speaking of civil wars, the cooldown for Hittite civil war has now been lowered to match their Egyptian counterparts. Ramesses can no longer use the province edict Let Laborers Rest since its unique edict for the people does the same things, but better. Iris's faction command Let the World Burn It'll now correctly only say one more turn on the last turn. This is only a sample of the slew of fixes and changes we've made in this patch, so go to TotalWar.com via the link in the description if you want to see the full list.